start by search Hoboware, Hoboware, download. I did that before, as you can see. And select the one from onsetcomputers.com. Download Hoboware for Windows. Don't select the professional version as it, it's not free of charge to download. It's a huge file. To me, it shows 200, almost 200 megabytes. So it might take a while. Click on exit file. Like that. Next. I accept agreement. Next, next, next. Desktop icon. Yes, please. Install. We are almost there. That's it. I don't want to read that. Finish. And we are good to we are good to go. Take the data logger and find the barcode. The barcode is here next to it. There's a serial number. Note that down and note in which jar it has been deployed or in which jar you're going to deploy it. Unscrew the cap, this end, unscrew it, and find the notch, there's a notch here next to the bolt, and this notch has to be aligned with the notch in the cradle, insert it, so it sits like this, and now the cradle is ready to be inserted into the computer using the USB connector. So now that you have inserted the data logger into the cradle, you can insert it into the USB port. Bing, bing, ling. And start the hoverware. Ignore all these annoying messages. The important thing is that Hoboware should say one device connected here down in the lower right corner. Now you press this icon, read out device. And here it's important that you select don't stop because if you select this, the data logger will continue to lock and you don't have to program it again before you redeploy it. So don't stop, read out the device, give it a file name so it suggests the serial number which is good because you have noted down in your logbook which serial number is going where so press save now it will plot the the data and don't change any of these default settings just press plot and you get a diagram like this so this is a binary hoverware file so you need to export it to Excel, so you use this icon up here. Uh, select everything, don't change any settings. Press export, give it a file name. By default, it suggests the serial number of the data logger, and that's file. Uh, there's only one sort of file, the comma separated uh, file here, which can be read by Excel. Press save. And it's all done. So now you can disconnect the device again and continue with the next logger. Once you are done, once you have downloaded the data, you can disconnect it again from the cradle and take the cap and screw it back on. No need to over tighten it because there's an O-ring and this is now ready to be deployed Make sure that you note down the serial number so that you know exactly which logger is going into which jar. We can use the same reader for both the round pressure loggers for the depth, this one. So this is for the depth. You can pull this off, pull straight like this, and then you can mount this one the rectangular shape, push all the way in, and here 
the temperature loggers, they look like this, can be inserted. And now this is ready to connect to the computer.